Come hear the story of one in a distant land. Come hear the story of one brave man. Labeled outlaw by John the Prince, been hiding ever since. Come hear the story of one brave man. He lived in the wood, and his name was Robin Hood. Welcome to the tale of Robin Hood. It is my privilege to tell you of our hero, Robin Hood. Many of you may think you know him, but I think you may not know as much as you think. I think. Do you think? My name is Sherwood. Perhaps you have heard of the forest named after me. Who here has a forest named after them? No one. Well, don't I feel special? On with our story, we begin with Robin trapped in the castle. Why start there? I don't know, usually one begins at the beginning, but time is short. I felt like starting in the middle. In any case, here goes. Come hear the story of one in the distant land. Come hear the story of one brave man. Labeled outlaw by Tom the Prince. Been hiding ever since. Come hear the story of one brave man. He lived in the woods. speak like this to maintain the feel of our story. Dost thou not know that in these days merry old England has not much merry? Yea, tis spoken, and verily it is. Many are the unhappy folk of Hill and Dale round about. My countrymen call for a hero, one who might right the injustice of our time. Stay, lest I declare them all to be miserable, for the rich are quite well. And Prince John and his sheriff are also quite happy gathering taxes from the poor. No! <laughs> if only King Richard were here. But even the king would need the help of a hero. Someone who could hold. I need run hence. That's a mouthful. I've got to go. One, two, tie my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. about Sherwood Forest. Sherwood Forest? Yes, that would be a good choice because it is where Prince John is not. <coughs> if you catch my meaning, you see hide somewhere else. By Jove, you're right. I know what's wrong with me. I'm always making poor decisions. Thank you so much for your help. Uh, Sherwood! Well, I was hoping you would, but I haven't even asked you yet. You haven't asked me what? To show me to Sherwood. Sherwood? <laughs> yes, if you would. Would what? Show me to Sherwood. Right here. This is Sherwood? No. Then would you show it to me? Sherwood! Oh, I'm, now I'm looking for Sherwood. Here I am. You are Sherwood? Yes, my name is Sherwood. Oh, so your name is Sherwood. OK, and would you show me to Sherwood Forest? Sherwood! Oh, I give up. I'm going to Sherwood Forest. Would you like to come along? Sherwood! Sure. OK. Uh-oh, Robin, we don't have time for this. Here comes Prince John and his sheriff. Quick, hide! Whoa!
care why you cannot catch Robin Hood. Just do it. I do not like excuses. <laughs> Absolutely correct, Prince John. No more excuses. Catch Robin Hood or else. Go. Go? Go. 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 As you wish. As fast as a fish. That sounds delish. A wonderful dish. My favorite is radish. Hard to squish. Hard to accomplish. Uh, uh, sheesh. <laughs> now, ridiculous. We shall return to the royal hall. Yes, yeah, let's go see us for lunch. We shall return to the royal hall. You are continuing to look for Robin Hood. Yes, I shall go to the outlaw Robin Hood. Here we go! <laughs> so? So? Get the heads out, out, out! I should have paid way closer attention to that appointment of office. Now, let's go see what is for lunch. Robin here. Oh, Marion, you do know he is a wanted man. Oh, yes, of course. I was saying I wanted him here. Oh, I don't mean that. I mean the law wants him. Prince John, the Sheriff of Nottingham. Oh, yes, of course. I knew that. Did I just hear my name? Robin! The one and only. And this must be Maid Marion. I think not. I'm Marion's maid. This is Maid Marion. Of course. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. The pleasure is mine, sir. Would you be sure what of the forest? Sure would. Uh, yes. Of the forest. Stop! Believe me, you don't want to go there. Marion, please tell me the news. She should not be talking to you. There's a price on your head. Well, for goodness sake, take it off! Oh, Robin, you're so funny. Master Robin the maid is right. You do Marion no service lingering here at the castle. Too many guards. Too many eyes. We need to be off to Sherwood Forest. We need to find the Sherwood Foresters. They know the best hiding places where Prince John and his sheriff will never find you. Very safe. Of course you're right. Let's go. Robin, aren't you going to goodbye? Uh, Master Robin means we have to go, but he hopes to see you. Again. Yes, yes, that's right. Uh, Milady, you must be off too. Goodbye, Robin. I'll see you again. Goodbye, Marion. I certainly do like Robin. I must say, I do too. But he could use a bath. A bath? How could you say such a... <coughs> what is that smell? <laughs> See, I told you there was an awful, horrible... It smells like a... Skull! <laughs> My lady, look! Oh! Well, what's wrong, little stuff? Uh, it's just too hot. I give up. Ah, there you are, my little stinker. Time to head back to Sherwood Forest. Sherwood, I thought you were on your, you were already on your way back to the forest. Where's Robin? Oh, I pointed Robin in the right direction, but I had to come back for my skunk friends. I promised to accompany them back into the woods. Are you sure Robin will be all right? He makes such snap decisions. Mostly bad decisions. Uh, yes, I know, but I'll catch up with him quickly. Oh, Sherwood, before you go, do you have bothering this little skunk? Oh. This little one's always upset because he's always trying to make new friends and doesn't understand most people are not comfortable around skunks. It's not fair, is it? Nope. Aww. Aww. Ew. Oh, don't worry. He has lots of skunk friends. In fact, here they come now. Here comes one, and here's another. Three skunks isn't a lot. Oh, there's plenty more where they came from. Come on out, little stinkers. Come meet these nice people. You all look cute little stinkers. Woo, big stinkers. Oh, you get used to the smell in time. It's a shame, really. Skunks are such gentle, peaceful creatures, and they like everyone. Don't you, little stinkers? We like everyone. Poor things, but what's a skunk to do? Yeah, what's a skunk to do? Hey! 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 hey. hey. 
what's a skunk to do when they don't like you and you're feeling blue because you smell pu what's a skunk to do Not grand, nature had it planned. What's a skunk to do? Jam out, skunks! <laughs> What's a skunk to do when they don't like you? And it's cause you spell P-U. What's a skunk to do? We don't have a clue, do you? Here we go, skunks! Take a bow, skunks, take a bow. <laughs> Poor those creatures, but someday we'll find a way. What friendly and nice little stinkers. Well, it's back to share with Forrest with you. Goodbye. Bye. Off you go, skunks. So long. And I'll have to head back to the forest as well. I have to catch up with Robin. It was lovely meeting you, ladies. <laughs> Wait for me, little stinkers! Goodbye, Sherwood. Well, what do we do now? Well, I suppose we shall return to our quarters in the castle before we are missed. Come on, my lady. you mean? You know, it's pure luck that we found them. It could have taken me months of looking. They know all the best hiding places where Prince John and his sheriff will never find you. They know every leaf and knot hole. Hello, my fine foresters. Can you help us? We need your best hiding place. What do you say? I guess we can show them the fog. That would serve them right. <laughs> uh, uh, someplace drier. How about the mountains over the raging rabbits? They'll never find them. <laughs> I'm afraid of heights. What about the bear dens under the downs? Lots of people go missing there. <laughs> that sounds too dangerous. I know a perfect place. Deep in the heart of the woods. You don't mean... Yes, the ancient oak that knows no folk. Of course, you're right. The ancient oak that knows no folk. That is the perfect place. I was thinking maybe the bear den. Oh. Robin. All right then, who's for the oak tree? Off we go, lead the way.
which is what are the guards doing? Well, you see, they find the sticks and then all so carefully let them straight and then... I can see that! Why are they doing that? Oh, never mind. Just stop them! What are you doing? Stop in the instant! Light up, boys, your piggies light up right around here! That's more like it. Stand at attention! Stomach out, chin up, hat straight, hand down, knee bent. Are you about done? Um, do you more men than how the whip in the shape? You are done. There, all better, all done. I just have one teensy weensy. Teensy weensy. Itsy bitsy. Itsy bitsy. Tiny. Tiny. Tiny problem. Do you know what it is? No, my prince. You haven't found Robin Hood. Now I want you to find this Robin Hood, and I want you to bring him to me. Do you understand? And stop playing with sticks. Find him now. Go find that Robin. Robin Hood, go find that Robin. Robin.
afraid at the time of our story, he wasn't born yet. Do you have any lords of the dance? I thought you'd never ask. Here's our finest piece. To Swan Lake. <laughs> something, Robin. But why pay it back? But that would be robbery! These are desperate times. Do you all have a better idea? No. Then off to set our trap! Well, 
I might be persuading you in directions, or better yet, escorting you back to the palace. I can't imagine what you're gonna do here in the forest unless you can't afford Robin and water of our plants. I must warn you, sir, that I, in the king's cousin, accusations should be carefully chosen and well thought out. That's telling him, dearie. Uh, you, sir, shall assist my maid in me back to the castle. If you do well, I will forget your little slander. Uh, 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 yes, 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 that is easy, my lady. That's telling him, dearie. Alert, alert, someone approaches. Stop, Stop. run away. The lady are under arrest. from the rich, not the poor, that makes more sense. Righto! Righto! Hand over our teeth! Yeah. Ew! We don't need their teeth, Robin. They are carrying all the gold we need. Isn't that right? Righto! Righto! Righto. Now is the time we have a signal horseman to rescue us and arrest these brigands. What noise? Too bad those horsemen lacked the courage to release you, but I shall let you go. Off with you, my feathered friends. Tell Prince John to send more. Now, what to do with all this gold? We could bury it when we find it. No, Robin, I think you stumbled on the answer when you tried to rob a forester. They haven't a farthing between them. Only a few gold teeth. What say we give the gold to them? Right. Here you are, my fine foresters, a gift of appreciation for your stewardship of the wood. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Sorry, I got carried away. Thank you, foresters, that will buy plenty. 
plenty of seeds to plant in the wood. We will see you upon our return. All right, Mary Bad, it's time to regroup and think of a new plan. We'll meet at the secret hideout. Secret hideout! I don't know anything about a secret hideout. You know, the ancient oak that knows no folk. Oh, why did you say so? Here we go. Robin, I'm starting to wonder if we made the right choice, hooking up with performers. <laughs> oh, Robin, thank goodness you're here! What, what news? news? Prince John is furious. He found a note made Marion wrote pledging her support for our cause. The sheriff from Nottingham arrested her. Since then, she's been raising money by selling pillows made by Marion. They're quite lovely, really. We're thinking of adding a lot of hats. Tall, pointy hats with feathers and silk. Calm, and calm. Hold your tongue. Where is Marion now? Who welcome hell goes What? Oh, release your tongue. She's locked in a tower with guards at the door. What should we do? What do you think we should do? Oh, you know, I'm not going to make any decisions. I just tried robbing a forester. Well, there's no big trick to it. Go ahead. We should run away. What? What? Sorry, see? Robin, I think I know why you're making these questionable decisions. It seems you're not taking time to think things through. Now, do you like Marion? Do you want to see her languish locked away in a tower? Then what should we do? Send her plenty of good books. <laughs> Try again. We should go to the castle. And? And rescue her. Excellent. See, think first, then decide. But we'll need a distraction to get past the guards. <laughs> what could we use for a distraction, Robin? Think, think. Oh, I know, I know nothing more distracting than our own band performers. They seem perfect for the job. Well done, master. May I put in my two bits? I remember that there was a renaissance fair and bazaar near the palace. There's pony rides, baking contests, an archery contest, and rock lifting. That's it, on to the baking contest. Robin, think first, then decide. Have you ever baked anything before? Well, what have you done? Well, I picked up rocks, but only small ones. Do you mean pebbles and such? No, what else? Well, I did have the best shot with the bone arrow, bone arrow in elementary school. So? So, on to the archery contest! Excellent. Now we have a plan. You, Maid of Marion, go tell Marion of our plan. I'm off. See you soon. You and I, Robin, must gather the merry band and be off to the castle. Come, hurry! for Robin, Mary, and I to make our escape. All clear? I'm 
I'm sorry, but we seem to have forgotten the signal. I remember. It was a bonfire. No, it wasn't. A flaming arrow. At midnight. I believe it was the church bell ringing. I don't think so. Three loud horn calls. A Roman candle. A flag unfurled from the castle tower. A pack of dogs howling at the moon. I forgot. Very creative. Completely wrong. Now, the signal is when I say Sherwood, then wink three times. Do you have it? I'm sorry, but we seem to have forgotten the signal. I remember it was a bonfire. <laughs> no, I wasn't! A flaming arrow. At midnight. I believe it was the church bell ringing. I don't think so. Three loud horn calls. A Roman candle. A flag on throw from the castle tower. A pack of dogs howling at the moon. I forgot. No! Am I talking to myself? Everyone, listen carefully. The signal is when I say Sherwood, meaning our forest home, then wink three times to make it official. You create the distraction for Robin, Marion, and I to make our escape. Now, do you have it? Yes, I think so. Clear as a bell. You, you say Sherwood, meaning our forest homes, and, and wink three, three times. times. Got it. Good. Go to your appointed places, and good luck. Yes, yes. all for one. And what of everything. <laughs> Tell me all. Shh. Be off. To continue on with our tale, the castle is bustling with fun, festivals, and frivolity. Robin is entering the archery contest. The merry band is waiting to hear the signal so we can rescue Maid Marian. We must rescue her this very day. Everyone, wish us luck! Come hear the story of one my lord. Perhaps I should do the announcing. Fine. Get on with it. Welcome, one and all, to the Nottingham Renaissance Fair. We hope you appreciate what an inconvenience it's been for Prince John to put on this event. Let's all hear it for Prince John. Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Your enthusiasm overwhelms me. On with the fair. Sheriff, what's our first event? The Jousting Contest! All clear the jousting arena. Who are our contestants? Sir Guy and Sir the other guy. They must be brothers. Any last words? Oh, for king and for country. Hooray! For mom and apple pie. Take your places. On your mark. Get set. Go. Contestants. The contestants are Ebola, please. Sir Plus and Sir Up. Do you have anything you want to say? I don't. Hooray! Is it too late to enter the baking contest? Take your places. One of those syrup plus anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 
If your majesty would allow me, I'd like to introduce the entries in our baking competition. Yes, go ahead. First, we have the Duke and Duchess of Sandwich. We have made a red velvet cake with swirls of pearls on top. Ooh. But you made it out of real red velvet. Ew. Next, the Baron and Baroness of Beef. We have made a key lime pie with egg goose in it. Ooh. You also put a real key in it. Ew. Finally, the Count and Countess of Crisco. We have made a shepherd's pie, and we didn't spare the lard. Ooh. But... Not quite done. Ew. What do you say, Prince John? Ridiculous! No one wins! Well then, on with the archery contest. One, two, try my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up six. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat head. Nine, ten? Who can say you can count to ten? So we never count to ten! Won't happen again. The archery contest! The Archery contest! Where are your bows? Ridiculous! Everyone forgot their bow? Thank you. It seems I have a small, ultra light, super slim, barely see it, collapsible bow. Anyone who wants it is welcome to take it. Well, how very generous of you, Mr. Rob, but, uh, 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 Bird, Mr. Bluebird. Let the contest begin. You go first. Am I holding it right? Oh. Uh. Here I go. Miss. Let it fly. Miss. It's my turn. <laughs> Give me that. Hey! <laughs> to the mark. Miss. Aim small, miss small. Big miss. I'll give it a go. <laughs> Stand back. Hit the bell tower. Yes. And now, the master. <laughs> That way. Off you go. Bullseye. <laughs> what do you think, Prince John? Ridiculous. Well, I declare the winner to be Robin Hood. Uh, uh, Bluebird. Did you say Robin Hood? No, it certainly like not. Robin, it sounds like Robin something. No, 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 no. I said, um, Dobbin. Dobbin Bluebird. Dobbin? What kind of name is Dobbin? Uh, very old and distinguished, I'm sure. Sure, have you seen the science and technology exhibit? I hear they invented a better mousetrap. Go find Marion. Wait, I can't do this myself. No, you'll be fine. Go on. Wait, what's the chairman say again? Think before you decide. So, Marion's in the castle tower. And when the Mary Band creates a diversion, I'll make my escape. No, wait. <laughs> Marion and I will make my escape. That sounds about right. Here goes. What is going on? What's the plan? How will Robin get past the guards? I'm not sure. They only told me to make sure you were ready. Shh. One, two, tie my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up six. Thanks. Thanks. I 
like yours too. <laughs> What do you think? Would you do that? Sure would! Back in a flash! Sure would. What's wrong? The merry band forgot the signal. Don't worry, I can fix this. I'll be right back. Are you all right? Would you like some assistance with your eyes? Oh uh, no no no, I'm fine. It's just a spot of dust. I know what you're doing wrong. You're saying sure would. You're supposed to be saying sure would, <laughs> as in the forest. Oh, for goodness sake, this is a fine time to get picky. All right, Robin, it'll be nice to get back home to Sherwood Forest. Oh. It's working, Robin. The Merriman's creating a distraction so you and I can make our escape. Hurry, let's go. Thank you. 
Prince John, you seem a little down. Ha! You know, things aren't really that bad. Why does everybody hate me? I'm not such a bad guy. Well, you do have quite a temper. Well, I think what Robin is trying to say is you're loud, mean, consistently unpleasant. Can you blame people? What you need is practice being nice. Now let me think, who do I know who could use a friend? Do you mean... I certainly do, if you wouldn't mind. Hurry, Robin, and come right back. Prince John, I have a solution. Friends! Lots and lots of friends! And those friends will be here any moment. You won't find truer friends anywhere. What do you think, Prince John? <coughs> That'd be all right if they weren't Scots. How am I supposed to do? Oh, I think Robin may have a solution for you. What do you think, Robin? What do I think? Think, think. I got it. Does anyone have a clothespin? No, no, no. I do! Are you ready? Here's my solution. What solution is that, Robin? Ha, Robin, right. think first, then decide. How does that help Prince John be friends with the skunks? Ha! Right, I missed one part. There, what do you think? Well now, Prince John will have plenty of friends as long as he behaves himself. Right, little stinkers? Right. Right. Yeah. You know, I want to point something out. Who rescued Maid Marian from the tower? The Scots! Who changed Prince John's temper? The Scots! Who are the peacemakers and heroes of Sherwood Forest? The Scots! The Scots! Well, we've come to the end of our tale. It only lacks one thing. I wish King Richard, the Lionhearted, could have been here. The King! Fair enough, I have seen everything, and I have approved! But your majesty, you, what? where were you? I was with the foresters talking to the trees. Well, I guess that explains things. But that sounds like a tale for another time. So, until next time, when we all say... Come here, sorry, a one in a distant land. Come here, the sorry, a one brave man. They hold out large on the prince, been hiding ever since. Come here, the sorry, a one. Yeah.